السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. It's your guy Basmad and I'm back again with another interesting video. So guys, as you all can see, on my back we have the same sister that we had last year, and um, they were they are like a lot of people's favorite reciters. They are amazing. Like the recitations will make you make you shiver to give you chills because of how beautiful the recitations are. So because of the amount of requests that I had for the citation, they want, people want me to bring them back. And it's been over a year already. So I tell you that today, inshallah, I'm going to bring them back. And as you all know, it's the month of Ramadan, the month of the Quran. So what, what other month is best to bring them back than this month? So you guys should anticipate because they're going to be dishing out amazing citations. So they're going to recite together with today's, with today's voice, inshallah. Um, and they're going, to recite, they're going to recite Surah Yasin. The oldest one among them is going to be reciting from Surah Al Hijr, and she's going to be reciting with Riwayah Khalaf and Amza, inshallah. So you all should anticipate. It's going to be very, very interesting. Don't skip. And you all should be Qur'anli. Now, let's have them recite, inshallah. Your name? Muhammad Al Awal Fatiha. How old are you? I'm 12 years old. Last year she was 11, and amazing, amazing citation. You guys can check the video if you've not watched it. I'll put the link here. Now, what's your name? Muhammad Al Awal Shukru. Um, how old are you? I'm 11 years old. 11. Both of you are half is and half is or half is, right? No. They're both half is. Now, your name? Oh, well, oh, well, I am Ayat Allah. How old are you? I am seven years old. What's your name? Awal oh, Mashkuro. How old are you? I am four years old. Four years old, four years old mashallah. Ah, is she four or five? She's four. She's four, okay. What's your age now? She's in Surah to Dariyat. What of you? What of her? Surah to Lankabut. Mashallah. Fuck! 
So my people, if you want to learn the Quran from the comment of your own, if you want to be Quranly and you don't know how to go about it, well you know because I am here for you. I am a preacher of being Quranly, so I have to be here for you. So what you need to do is just go to my website at www.batma.com and register for my online Quran classes, inshallah. And we have amazing teachers, we have amazing syllabus for you all, and you're going to really enjoy it. We have students from all over the world already, so you can join us. I expect to see you guys, inshallah. Be Quranly, and back to the video.
We attest to the fact that these girls are Quranly and also they're like diamonds of Islam. That's what I can call them, Wallah, because this is amazing. You can see the way they're excited. You know, all credits goes to their father. He, he was the one that taught them, you know, up to this level. And I ask Allah to bless him abundantly and reward him abundantly. I want you all that are watching, parents that are watching too, so you take this, you know, as a motivation to try to. Just teach your kids, train them in the world of Islam. And it starts from you. If that dad does not have this, you know, level of understanding of the Quran, there's no way he could have impacted in his, in his kids. It's because he also has you knowledge, that's why he has impacted in his kids. Unfortunately, the dad does not like coming up, appearing on camera. So I will have brought him and speak to him. But, but inshallah, I'm going to put his contact in the description. You can send him a message if you want to, like, give this, this kid something. Or, like, just if you want to, like, you know, appreciate him for this job well done for the, on the kids. Inshallah. So, but before we end this video, I'm going to speak to the first daughter, Fatiha. And she's going to, you know, advise little girls that are watching this video that want to be on this part of the Quran. Now, Fatiha, how old are you again? I'm 12 years old. When did you finish your hips? When? Started my hips two to three years old, and I'm already done, like up to seven years old. You finished your hips when you were seven? Yes. Sir. How was it? What did your daddy do? I know your daddy taught you. You must have, you must have, you know, you know, make sure that yes, you must have been very, very strict. Huh? Yes. Do you remember anything that he has done to you that you're like, ah, when I was ready to cry? Maybe, maybe when you, maybe when your friends were playing or something that he has done to you that you're like, ah, God, no, why did you do this to me? You know, when you were ready to cry, do you remember any, you have any experience? Anyone? Mm, the only thing that I know is that it doesn't allow us to play too much. Mm -hmm. We do our revision every morning. Mm. And when we are through, we are done eating, we do our revision in the afternoon. Then before we sleep, we do our revision in the night. Allah, Allah. So it doesn't leave any gap of play for us. You can see. And when you were, when you was, you know that, did you like it at all? Be honest. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> but now that you're excited like this, are you happy? Yes. Are you happy that your daddy has done what he did for you? Yes, I'm happy. I'm happy. Alhamdulillah. I mean, I mean, amongst many of your peers, you are like, you are like the best, right? Yes. Because of the Quran. Yes, sir. So you, you always pray for your dad. Hmm? Okay. You all have had. You can see a dad. You can see what she said now. Many, many parents be like, ah, my child, will you not play? Can, no, you should not play. Let him play like small. Make sure that yes, this boy, this girl, put that. Let him like make sure that he has strict on them. Let that Quran. Let them, you know. Then in the future they will pray for you. Exactly, they will pray for you. So now, I want to now advise girls. You know, there are little girls that are, that are looking up to that are looking up to you like, ah, I want to be like Fatiha. I look at Fatiha, I look at how she is. I don't be like her. What would you tell them? Don't worry, I will do it for you. I'll advise Muslim girls like me mm -hmm. to learn and memorize the Quran. Okay. Because the Quran is very sweet and interesting. Mm -hmm. When I started the Quran, I was two two to three years old. Mm -hmm. And later I felt that the Quran was easy as ABC. So I'll advise Muslim Muslim girls like me to memorize the Quran with me okay. and also go to Madrasa. So you have had. So, uh, Aziza, Mubi, uh, Mubina, uh, Hafsa, yeah, you are watching, Maria, we are watching this video. And mommy said, go to Madrasa. I'm like, I'm not going. You can't see. You want to be like her. You have to go to Madrasa. Also, Abraman, Idris, Sulaiman, all of you that are watching this video that are little, make sure that you guys go to Madrasa and learn the Quran. And parents, make sure that your the teachers that, that are teaching your kids, make sure that they are grounded and they are good. Mm? So ask Allah to be with every one of us. And also, you guys should not forget to be Quranly. And you guys should spam, spam these kids with gifts. Enough gifts because they deserve it. They really deserve it. Their father deserves it. The kids, they deserve it. So thank you all for watching the video. And don't forget to be Quranly. And inshallah, we will see you in the next video. Now, salam alaikum to the